Welcome to Michael's Beer View. Tonight, Bud Light, second time around, second round. Um, let's get this open here. I was tasting it already. Just out of the, the can. They say it's, what, every five beers, Bud Light's one of them. It has a number one beer since 1980, I think 82, David, they, or 84, I think it's 82. Um, I've had, everybody's had this, and let's see, light, some carbonation, very yellow, smell, actually smell, cooked vegetable, not that bad of a smell, it smells like a lager that, actually I could smell malt in there, oh man, but Bud Light, It has a good, good mouthfeel. So many people go out and I uh, spilled some, but um, so many people don't like this beer. For light beer, for what it is, I can give this. This is pretty. It's good, good. I don't like light beer, but uh, this is a beer. It's it's very drinkable. Because these are supposed to be drinkable. It's a lager, American light lager adjunct, which they put either corn or rice. And people, a lot of people say adjuncts are bad, but many brewers over 500 years has been brewing with adjuncts. Um, Belgium wheat, uh, Belgium wheat beer has been brewing with spices, sugars for over 500 years. So I don't know how Budweiser and Miller become the bad guys because they use adjuncts. Again, corn is an adjunct, oatmeal, peanut butter <laughs> if I tasted. So when people say it's adjuncts, that's just a myth. Just trying to cut this product down and or anise or bush down. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a beer that uh again it just it, it's 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 very consistent too. And I can see why people like it. No I uh, if you had a bad beer before, it's more silky. This is really crisp, clean, and refreshing. It's a summer beer. The summer's here, so this is a good beer for the summer. Picnics, what are you going to do? If you're having thirsty in the desert, you want a stout, or do you want this? You know, that's what it's for. It's for summer. It's for crisp, clean, and refreshing. And again, if that, when I add the adjuncts, this is what you're going to get. You can't have um, a beer which... Is light without adjuncts. It, it breaks down the sugars, corn, the corn or the rice. So there's many people who who are out there saying adjuncts are bad. That's how a light beer is, and it, you can't do that with malt. And sometimes rice is more expensive than malt, so it's not cheap. I don't know that myth is going around, and people just need to you know just a dumb. It's a it's a half truth. It's a half truth that people in the that they have an agenda against Anheuser Busch, but this is a, is a good tasting beer. It's not really my style. I'll drink this if it's at the party. This is the only thing. I'm not gonna go and snob around and say I'll bring my own or this sucks. I'll drink a craft beer if there, but I'll drink this too, and I'll bring it if people want. I think people will drink this more than my craft beer, so I'll bring this. Just, just to, you know, have people drinking beer instead of having some big stout there or quad or some dark beer that people don't like and people don't want to enjoy. So, as I know, and has a bush, this is a good product. Again, I tasted a lot of lagers were weren't that good. This doesn't have an off-putting taste. It has a cool, this is a refreshing taste, crisp, clean, and refreshing. I had. Other beers that were cheaper, that weren't crisp, clean, and refreshing, they had a silk, kind of oily taste, which I don't like, or overly lemony taste, which I don't like. Um, Bud, Wise, Bud Light is, I'd give it an A for light beer. I up my rating. Just just a beer that, Jesus, I mean, would you go to a baseball game, this would you want to drink, or Budweiser? I'd drink Budweiser more because that's my personal preference. I like more beer taste. This doesn't have it, but for a light beer, what it is, I, I, I'll take this. 
again, the people that said it has adjuncts, ask them if Belgian wheat beard or the Belgian uh, monks been doing it for 500 years. And what is an adjunct? Tell them that. So, because again, oatmeal can be an adjunct and spices are adjuncts. So, to say that it, it's all adjuncts and they're trying to cheapen it down, they ain't trying to cheapen it down. And another thing about cheapy products, how do you know? They don't tell you exactly. There's no there's no labels on these cans because you don't have to give information. The beer companies don't have to give information what they're putting in their in their products. If you really want to go after something, lobby the the politicians. They put something on here to see what their really their ingredients are. And then you would tell what type of corn or what type of barley or what type of chemicals they're putting in it. But but now you can't really tell because there's no labels. So how would you know it's cheap or good? I don't know. Just say it's 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 bad. It's bad. It's a bad. Uh, what do they say? We we use uh, natural ingredients, or we use good ingredients. They use bad ingredients. That's that's a half truth too, because again, you don't know how, what what are they putting in their beer, and because they don't have a label. When people say, "Well, we we use they use cheap ingredients," how do you know what type of rice? How do you know what type of barley they're using? And actually, Anheuser Busch they pay their their employees really well. I know a lot of people work in St. Louis. They play them good, even when Embed bought them. So that's a good beer, summer beer. And people that trash them, they think good, big is bad, and good, good is small. Small is small is good, and big is bad. There's no such thing. I mean, every company is like that. They're gonna try to compete, and they're trying to try to take market share from people. And uh, they they they've done a good job. You know, they, they got the market for it. It's not all marketing either, because if you tasted this, you saw a, a Clydesdale commercial, you taste it, and it was bad. They wouldn't have 100 million repeat customers a year. That's what I think of it, and I, that's what I think about Budweiser or Anheuser Busch. It's good products. They got a good light beer, they got a good regular beer, and they got a good uh, ice beer, natural ice. They're pretty, they're good for the price. So, A for Bud Light. If you disagree or agree, let me know. Subscribe, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.